I'm Kieran, I was born and raised in the UK and I arrived at Stanford from the University of Cambridge where I did my PhD in physics working on solar energy materials. So my main project while I'm here is all about understanding ion motion in batteries. So when you charge and discharge a battery, ions move between an anode and a cathode and the compensating electrical current is what we use um, to power our electrical devices. But that wholesale ionic migration is actually made up of lots of individual, very small atomic motions. And I want to understand those atomic motions on an atomic scale and on an ultra fast time scale. So that's on femtoseconds and picoseconds. It seems very, very fast to us, but that's the natural time scale over which atoms move in materials. Hopefully by understanding these processes in more detail, we can make larger advances in improving batteries. For example, making fast charging better, improving battery safety, and also increasing the energy density of batteries. The main thing I wanted to achieve with my postdoctoral years was to gain a new skill. To date, I've mainly worked on solar energy and worked as a crystallographer. So I'm all about understanding the structure of materials. Here, I'm working on batteries and I'm using more spectroscopies and ultra-fast spectroscopies to understand them. This fellowship, compared to others, is three years long, so I've actually got quite a lot of time to take a bit of a risk and dive into a new field and learn something new. Also, the cohort structure is really great. In a university like Stanford, there are so many people working on the energy problem from so many different angles, and it's just really interesting to learn what other people are doing. One of the nice things about this fellowship is that the management are really keen for us to spend our discretionary funds in creative ways. So I'll soon be going to Washington DC for a week to learn about US climate and energy policy from a federal level. I'm really excited about this for two reasons. First, because I've got a little bit of experience in this from the UK context, from interning in the civil service, but also because I don't want my research to exist in an ivory tower. I want to know what policymakers care about, what they're interested in, and I hope that they are interested in what we as the scientific community are also interested in. Because I think it's only if we come together um, that we can actually make a big difference to renewable energy. I'm just one of very many scientists working really hard to try and make the world a more sustainable place. So all I hope is that the work that I do in some small way just adds to that body of literature that gets us to a more sustainable future. Thank you.